Kathy Ann was very adamant in pushing Birds of Prey as the next big, bold comic book movie featuring women leads, pioneering the way for more female representation in the comic book movie genre moving forward. And now that the movie has officially been a failure, she has decided to instead play the victim, which honestly doesn't surprise me at all. So she has decided to open up about the box office disappointment in regards to Birds of Prey, which was indeed a box office disappointment. So she has, uh, she's in an interview with uh, the Hollywood Reporter when she's talking about this, and Yan notes she's aware of the high expectations that Warner Bros. and everyone else had for the film, but that because it was a female-led movie, there was higher expectations for the film to do well, and that because it didn't perform, grossing just over $201 million on its 89 to $100 million production budget, it proved that we weren't ready for this yet. That was an extra burden that... As a woman of color director, I already had on me anyway, Yan described. Uh, the eye rolling can already begin, everybody. We all know exactly what kind of a direction this is going to go in. So she continues, So yes, I think there was certainly different ways you could interpret the success or lack of success of the movie. And everyone has a right to do that. But I definitely do feel that everyone was pretty quick to jump on a certain angle. Oh, really? Oh, really? What what kind of angle would that be, Kathy? Would, 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 could it just possibly be that, you know, you were promoting some pretty ridiculous stuff with this movie? And not just you, but more so more so people like Ewan McGregor that really just made fans go, eh, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm out of this one. I'm not, I'm not going to go see this one in theaters. <laughs> and I think that's exactly what happened. Like, there was a lot of mistakes that were made from this movie for the, uh, with this movie. Some of them were creative mistakes. There were things about this movie that I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. That's not going to get any more butts and seats than, you know, if you went this other direction. Um, but there were things about this movie in regards to identity politics and all that type of stuff that were being promoted as well that we all have seen time and time again have been nothing more than a turnoff for audiences. Identity politics is not helping movies do well in theaters. So, Yan felt that the film helped a lot of people, especially a lot of women and younger people, feel, uh, feel uh, I think that's supposed to say feel, as though their voices were being represented for the first time on the big screen. For the first time, seriously, like, this is after we, we've gotten, like, one woman, and I, I love how every single time a new female-led comic book movie comes out, they want to pretend that the ones previously didn't exist. This is, this is continuing to happen more and more. So, like, Wonder Woman. Yeah, you, you could claim that that is one of the first female-led movies, comic book movies, that did really well. Because it kind of is. But then Captain Marvel came along and Brie Larson's like, I am breaking the glass ceiling. Oh, it's not a glass ceiling. It's a titanium ceiling. And now Kathy Ann comes along. And she's like, you know, this is the first time that women and younger people are being represented on the big screen. Not even talking about comic book movies, but even let's just take comic book movies out of that equation. That just makes this comment even more stupid <laughs> because there have been plenty of movies throughout movie history going all the way back to, I don't know, the earliest one I can think of is a Wizard of Oz, which, you know, take it or leave it, however you want to feel about that, um, that there's representation right there. Whether you like the representation or not, there is representation. <laughs> it's just absolutely ludicrous. The, and uh, that many of the choices made it on the film, including the casting and the costume designs, were somewhat deliberate. Yeah, yeah, the, the casting and costume designs were, uh, not, there were, there were some pretty, uh, poor choices in regards to that. What was definitely beyond expectations was some of the positive st stuff, such as the real global reach of the film and getting really wonderful notes. Yeah, okay. Pretty much everyone forgot about this film after, like, well, actually, Sonic the Hedgehog came out literally, like, the next week. By that time, everyone had forgot about Birds of Prey, and Sonic the Hedgehog was way more hyped than Birds of Prey was. Um, and getting really wonderful notes from people around the world who felt that they were seen for the first time in a movie like this, which is just such a stupid statement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That statement is just so dumb. Did these people just, like, crawl out of caves suddenly just to come see Birds of Prey, and then they're like, oh, I've never seen a movie with another woman in it before. 
It's just so dumb. Like, that whole statement is just the stupidest statement I've ever seen. They felt like they could identify with the characters on screen, even though they were in a heightened world. A world with stocked grocery stores. Laughs. Okay. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be funny. I don't... Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, so that's pretty much all she says. Apparently, it's because she is a woman of color. And it was so hard on her because of that. And the whole reason this movie failed was because people uh, are bad, especially white men, even though, you know, men made up the majority of the people that went to go see Birds of Prey. But that is a statistic that people on the SJW side don't like to talk about. They want to continue to pretend like men are the absolute worst. And the whole reason that this movie failed was because of men. So that is the narrative that they continue to run with with this movie, which I find absolutely hilarious. And even though it is completely not true, um, a lot of people just didn't want to go see this movie. Like a lot of people just weren't interested in this movie. Honestly, if Ewan McGregor had kept his mouth shut about his stupid takes with this movie, and if there was less of a push on the identity politics side of things with this movie, this movie would have performed better. I'm sorry, it just would have. Um, so with that being said, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about Kathy Ann's uh, statements. By the way, I don't think that... Okay, the, I've actually praised Kathy Ann recently for some of the other things that she's done. Like, she has actually gone out to help people who need help during this time with the whole beer bug situation she has talked she she did a whole thing on twitter where she was giving away money to people who needed money and i appreciate that you know so i'm not going to just i'm not just out here bashing her just because she's a woman she has done good things but she also says a lot of really dumb things as well that is the way that this whole thing works okay so with that being said, let me know what you think about this. If you're new to uh, Geeks and Gamers here, consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll also go check out my personal channel, Josiah Rises. I'd greatly appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.